So we are here at the Knoxville Reptile Expo, show me reptile show, here to pick up some displays that are literally next level. Cue the intro, dive on in. What's up YouTube? I'm here with Jim from Next Level Displays and I actually bought two displays from him so he's going to give us the rundown and show us why he's got the best displays on the market today. Hey Shane. So our units are made so they're portable. Everything's included in one unit and they don't take a lot of time to set up and tear down. I started this, you take the lid off, slide that under the table. Drop the front out. Pull them back and pop up the lights. That is. Walk around the back and plug it in. But other than that, you're done. And that's so nice. Look, the lights are built in. Uh, these come in different colors. I'm not sure all the options. What's the color options on this? I've got a string. There's anything from white to pink, purple, orange, green, blue. There's all. There's all sorts of different colors. Cool. Cool. Everything's got. Everything's got recessed, three inch belly heat. Keep your animals warm. And that, that was a big selling point to me because I want my animals to have a little bit of heat when I'm at a show. And no matter where you're at, when you're traveling in my car, these guys are plugged in. Yeah. A lot of people that live in the cell think they don't need it, but when I'm in my car, I don't want to be 92 degrees. Right. So I got my AC on. These guys are still mid 80s. I set the temperature for when we're traveling. Perfect. Just enough to keep them warm. Yeah. The outer dividers are removable, so you can have a spot for larger animals. Oh, all right. Let as me... they grow. Yeah. We also offer diagonal dividers, so you can put smaller babies in there. You can fit more in at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I think we got enough for one display's worth of dividers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I forget what you have out there in the trailer, for sure. And then let, let's take a look at the back. Show, show how the back works. So this is the back of a main unit. All right, let me get a little close-up of that. So that's your thermostat right there. Which is a which is a Herbstat Intro Plus, so it's got all the features of the Herbstat, all the safety features built into it. It's just small and compact, so that runs this unit. Plus, it also runs these three outlets. Okay. So if you get a set of four set up like I have here, these three plug in here, so their 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 heat is all controlled by that Herbstat. Very nice. A couple of USB chargers here for your phone or your credit card reader. Man, you've really thought of everything for this. Because I know, I know other displays, you get a display, you buy lights separate, and you gotta run heat cable yourself, and all that stuff. And if you add all them products up, you get really close to our, our price, and they still don't do the one piece function like we have here. Right. All of our lights are four rows of high end LEDs. They're 5,000, 6,000 degree Kelvin lights. But the important part is their color rendering index. It's called CRI. The color rendering index on these lights are 95 or better. Which means if you put a red apple underneath the light, most of your LEDs are around 80 in the color rendering index, so you're getting 80% of that actual true color. Under a 95 CRI, you're getting almost the same color you get out of, on, underneath the sun. So you're getting wow. a real true color of your animals. So it's, so, it's another plus that... I, I learn something new every day. I didn't know anything about that on LEDs. So it, after studying, we started with a single row LED. You know, didn't know much about them either, but as, as I learned about lights, it's like, it kept progressing so that's that's been the biggest upgrade since i started these is the lights changed a couple times yeah but and what what is this material made out of so this is all high density polyethylene um when i started these i wanted to make something that functioned so it was quick to pack up and leave but also lightweight because once you fill them with snakes they're heavy yeah but i tried using like expanded pvc because it's lightweight but it, it busted and cracked when i was trying to assemble my prototypes so I had to switch to something stronger. I didn't get the lightweight, but I got a durable product out of it. So I make all my products out of it now. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Like you want them to be durable because obviously they're made for traveling and bouncing around and all that. So Which, that, that, that's very good. I was at a hotel, our last show in Janesville. I think it was Janesville. I was wheeling them into the hotel. The wheel on the hotel cart busted and cracked off and I dumped three of these on the floor. Oh, wow. Didn't hurt anything. Snakes were probably wondering what was yeah. going on, but, but I didn't even crack an acrylic. I was surprised. Well, that's very cool, they man. Held up really good. So, 
Where can everyone get a hold of you if they're interested in purchasing some displays? He also does racks, enclosures. Where can they get a hold of you to, to, to ask you about your products? And the everything? best place is our Facebook page, Next Level Displays LLC. You can search us on Facebook. Um, both my wife and I monitor that page so you get a quicker answers. Otherwise, sales at next-leveldisplays.com for email. Pretty much, pretty much that's the best ways to get a hold of us. I, I have a phone number on my cards too, you can call, but a lot of times if I get busy, I get tied up and can't get back to you for a little while, but eventually we'll get back to you either way. Cool. Well, thanks for doing this video, and like I said, I got some displays I need to get from them and load up, so until next time, guys, rock on. Thanks, Shane. Thank you, brother. <laughs>